Hello there. Finally got my wife on here and welcome back if you're listening in on the podcast. So here's my wife Janine. Hello. And on Instagram I posted a photo of our baby. And here is more of the images. It includes the heartbeat too, which is really cool. So what did you feel when you heard the heartbeat for the first time? It felt amazing just to hear that strong heartbeat. And you just really thank God for life. Sorry about that. Looks like our table was a little wobbly. Yeah, I almost cried when I first the heart, when I heard the heartbeat. It was like surreal at the same time. Just, it just like hit me like, <gasps> like whoa, strong heartbeat. And that's what the, the doctor said too. And everything was pretty healthy. Yeah, thank God, healthy mommy, healthy baby. And he's he even said that my background, my history, my um, health background is very boring. So <laughs> that is good. We're really excited about this baby coming up and if it's a boy will be my name if it's a girl and Therese really excited so no twins I know a lot of people were expecting twins but sorry the doctor was looking around was like oh see one it's like okay yeah because I know on my side um, my mom's side we, there's a twin in the family there's twins in the family and and she's a twin so there was yes. everyone was saying there was good chances there would be a twin but not this time so yeah. we're excited I think just hard to believe, like, wow, there's life in that womb right there. A little one is growing <laughs> to about two months and yeah. really excited about what we, we've been experiencing. And if you can, too, maybe explain or describe your morning sickness so far these past few months. Oh, it's been hard. I mean, and only for me, for Kenny, too. <laughs> um, not only, like, uh, the smell, for example, so he can't cook. And so sometimes he starves. I'm just joking. <laughs> There's food out there. <laughs> yeah. But um, it, it's been really hard because the nauseousness never goes away. I, and then if I overeat, that hurts. And if I don't eat, I feel weak. And then so when I'm finally hungry, I don't know what to eat because it all seems gross. And then the prenatal vitamin that you have to take doesn't help. Um, so I, I changed it to doing it at night and it helps. I have more of an appetite even though I can only eat like this much of things. And when I overdo it, it hurts. <laughs> so in that sense, it's been hard. It and what about cravings? Cravings, oh my gosh. So um, you've heard Kenny um, say that I've craved in and out. Well, now I don't. And that was twice and that was it. It's too bad. It's yeah. a good craving. Um, one time I dreamt of a sausage McMuffin from McDonald's, but I didn't get it because I, I'm afraid that I won't, I won't like it. And then, um, uh, today I craved cheese bread and I went to go buy some and pretty much finished half of it. She, almost, she <laughs> ate over half of it and I, I got a few pieces like, I was like, trying thanks. to be discreet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, but I got him wings yeah, and I didn't touch yeah. that. I just worry because... The doctor says, you know, you can eat as much as you can, but you don't have to eat too much. But just be careful with, you know, throwing it up because it dehydrates. So, you know. right. Other than that, though, she's been, I think, pretty good this last few days. It's gotten yeah. better, I think. It's only been like two days that it's just, we feel better about it. And I'm not as um, crazy because food really drives me crazy. Yes. I'm hungry, but I'm starving and it hurts and the smells and I get headaches and I get disgusted. It's hard. <laughs> and he gets the brunt of it. But it's been good. So if you're planning on getting married or gonna have children, your first child soon, just be prepared, be prepared for that. You know, it's uh, yeah. mood swings, all those oh, things. Yes. Yes, oh yes, oh yes, they're definitely like I, usually we have good conversations. We can actually have discussions and even though sometimes I like to shut down. But that's okay, that's beside the point. Though with this pregnancy, I feel like I've been a lot more um, harsh with my mm -hmm. words. I mean, I sometimes I, I do get like that, but mm -hmm. this time, like, I, one time I called him evil. And <laughs> Whoa, you, you really hate evil. me because you, you cooked a tortilla. He did a tortilla, he, he cooked it, and yeah. I was like, you hate me. I didn't know it was gonna smell, that's my bad. Usually, I, I guess tortilla smell. I do. Yeah, I should have known. I mean, yes. That's my fault. But be careful, men. 
Um, yeah, if they say don't cook in the house, like don't even heat up a piece of bread because they'll throw them off. So <laughs> That's true. Be careful with that. It's true. But thanks for again, babe, for coming on and yes. we're excited. Continue to pray for us and pray for the little one and for her health and my sanity. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.